Today in the Pipeline Vlog, we go to the movies, and since it's episode 007, obviously we're talking about Valerian. Yep, Valerian. So I have a dilemma. PipelineComics.com is designed for one thing and one thing only, comic books. The header says it, you know, it's a comic book site about comic books, because most comic book sites these days are a little bit about comic books over here on the side, but mostly about movies and TV shows and video games and apparently Disney football, uh, TV, did I already say TV? I forget. Uh, books, maybe novelizations, uh, everything but video games because it is an industry built on getting as many clicks as possible by diluting your brand and making it all about, you know, pop culture. But Pipeline Comics, I want to be about comic books and that's the one hard line I've always drawn you will not read about again movies video games TV shows any of those things on pipelinecomics.com but that puts me in a bit of a quandary because I've devoted the site this year to Ben Desenay the Franco-Belgian European comic books uh, we have a movie coming out this month about based on one of those series and it's a series I've been reviewing pretty hardcore over the last couple of months, Valerian, or actually Valerian and Loreline or Loreline, I always get that confused as it's known in print from Cinebook, but the movie itself by Luc Besson is just Valerian, so we'll deal with that, that's fine. And I'm kind of thinking if I do get to the point where I've reviewed the 16 books in the series that are available in English so far, there's still a couple more yet to come. Actually, I think more than two, four or six, something like that. Shouldn't I then review the movie? It only makes sense. I mean, that's the reason why people are looking at the book reviews. And the movie reviews are going to be out there from probably all the other websites. But there aren't too many people who've read all the comic books like I have. I'm positioning myself as something of an authority on this matter. Because if I read all the comic books, that puts me about ten steps ahead of every other major comic book news site out there. So I should take advantage of this and I should write the damn review. Pardon my French. So I, the only problem with it is it breaks the header. It breaks the, the, the raison d'etre, if I'm doing French, I might as well keep going with the French here, of having a comic book site about comic books. Now it's a comic book site about comic books and this one comic book movie. So it's not a comic book site about Franco-Belgian comic books, at least not yet, and I don't think it ever will be because I still have too much to say about North American comics, thank you. But should I or shouldn't I? That's my question, and that's why I'm throwing myself out here to all of you to ask the musical question, should I review the Valerian movie, or would that be a complete mistake? This may be all for naught because I don't know what I'm doing that weekend. I may not get a chance to see it when it comes out that opening weekend and we all know if you don't see it the week it comes out nobody cares anymore that's the system in the movie world these days so I don't know what to do I, I'm leaning towards just not reviewing it if only because that's easier but uh, if I review it and have lots of things I want to say or talk about specifically in relation to how the movie relates to the comic books to the albums I might want to do that should I or shouldn't I so help me out. Be my editorial board. Give me the pros, cons. What do you think? Let me know. Leave a comment below on YouTube. Tweet me at Pipeline Comics. Email me at Augie at Pipeline Comics. All the rest of that stuff is on the, uh, the final credit card at the end of this video. Thank you for listening. Thanks for your input. I'll let you know what we come up with uh, pretty soon. Thanks.